Hi everyone, it's Meher from Vancouver, BC. For those of you joining me for the first time, welcome to my channel. I used to post once a week from different sides of Vancouver and gave one recruitment tip. But for the last eight months, I've been, I've been posting daily because I've been interviewing a lot of professional people and asking them a lot of questions. So today I'm at Whistler, a town in Northern Vancouver, BC, home to Whistler Black Comp, one of the largest ski resorts in North America. In a venue of 2010 Vancouver Winter Olympics. Before I give today's recruitment tip, I just want to tell you that there are two previous videos that are essential to watch. One of them is things to do before applying to a job. And the other one is seven things to do before phone interview. And, two of, and the links are below in this video. So let's start today. So you did the phone interview, now you are called to do the face-to-face -face interview. The first thing you have to do is go back and research the company again. Although you've done your research before applying to the job or when, before going to do, or before doing the phone interview, but it's also essential to go visit again the company's website, check their mission vision, and see if there's anything new or new press or new releases that you can talk about in your interview. Tip number two, practice answering behavioral based interview questions. As you all know, recruiters are going to ask you behavioral based questions like, tell me about a time when you did this or how do you demonstrate this skill set. It's important to have your answers ready, have a story related to the skill set, and practicing helps you to calm your nose while you're at the hot seat during the interview. Tip number three, plan what to wear it's important to wear the appropriate style. So if you're going to the corporate work, you should wear suit and tie. And if you're going to a startup or tech companies, jeans and t-shirts will be fine. Tip number four, plan what to bring with you. So you can bring copy of your resume, professional binder and a pen. And if the recruiter asks you a list of your references, you can also bring that. Tip number five, Pay attention to nonverbal communication. It's important to use a firm handshake, establish eye contact, smile, and posture counts. Tip number six, prepare some questions to ask at the end of the interview. Questions like criteria for success for this job, company culture, and opportunities for advancement. Finally, follow up. Within 24 hours of your interview, send a thank you email to the recruiter. Thank them about the opportunity to meet with them and discuss your qualifications. Remind them of your skill set and that you are a good fit for the job and for the company. I hope all these tips will help you with your face-to-face -face interview. And if you like any of the tips that I am giving you, please like and share and follow me on my social media. Till next time, have a great day. Bye.